right, y'all, welcome back to Make It Dairy Free. I am Larisha, and today we are gonna be talking about one of our favorite pasta dishes before we went vegan, stuffed shells, and how to veganize it. So Andrew and I were sitting down to meal plan the other week, and we realized that we have a lot of pasta dishes that we love, and so do you guys. We have carbonara and alfredo and two types of lasagna and the best mac and cheese and most recently our penne alla vodka but there's one that we don't have stuffed shells not only that but we don't think that we have ever fed our kids stuffed shells ever and how can that possibly be if you watched our video the other week on our carnival foods you realized that they had never had corn dogs either and they actually loved those so we decided to continue this trend and fix it by hopefully sharing another one of our favorites with them this recipe is so creamy so good and absolutely so easy to make you guys know we are all about the easy recipes and most of this recipe is just waiting for it to cook we are going to discuss a few different types of ways to make this including how to make this completely top eight allergen free so enough talking let's get right into the recipe all right so the first thing that we are going to do is drop our uncooked jumbo shells into a large pot of boiling water that has been salted if you're gluten-free you can find gluten-free jumbo shells you want to carefully drop the shells into the water so you don't crack them cook these for half the amount of time listed on your package stirring occasionally we are going to add some oil over medium heat and add in some garlic for a minute, stirring often. Then drop all your spinach in. If you don't like large pieces of spinach, then we suggest you chop your spinach roughly before cooking. You want to cook your spinach down until it has wilted. Yes, we basically went from a whole field of spinach down to a forkful. It blows my mind every time, but now set this aside. Then we are going to make our filling by using a mixture of vegan ricotta and cream cheese as our base, simply because vegan ricotta is expensive where we are. But if you make your own at home, that is cheaper by all means only use ricotta we're also adding in vegan mozzarella and parmesan along with basil parsley and that cooked spinach we just wilted down and finally some pepper we find that store-bought cheeses are quite salty so we don't add any but taste the mixture and add some if desired once you have everything in your bowl you're going to take your time and really work to combine everything once you don't have any big pieces of cream cheese or ricotta remaining then you're good to go inside of a greased 9 by 13 casserole dish you are going to add half a jar of your favorite spaghetti sauce or about 14 ounces of a homemade sauce if you'd prefer that. Then carefully pick up a cooked shell and you are going to stuff about a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of mixture into each shell. There is enough mixture to fill about 20 to 30 shells depending on how much you stuff them. Place your shell into your casserole dish and then continue filling until no more remain. We usually fit ours in diagonally, but there is no right or wrong way to put your shells in here. It's also completely okay that they touch each other. Once you have all your shells filled and inside your casserole dish, you are going to pour the remaining sauce on top. Spread the sauce out over the shells so it's in one even layer. Top it with the remaining vegan mozzarella and Parmesan cheese and then into the oven it goes. If you have any leftover shells, you can either chop them into pieces and just scatter them into the dish for zero waste or just top them with more sauce another day of the week. Once it comes out, we recommend letting it sit for a few minutes before serving and then top with fresh basil and serve that with garlic bread. We will link ours in the description below. Thanks y'all so much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed this easy vegan dinner idea. We'd love if you could give this video a like, subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet, and comment down below and let us know what dish you'd love to see next. Have a great day and remember to smile.